It's time for the Pet and Patty Show starting Patty Smith and Patty Hughes. Welcome to the Pat and Patty Show. Hey, we had, it, what do you think of that intro with the dancing and, and Very the whole exciting. I, mean, I, I was glowing after that. I knew. Actually, I thought you were huffing and puffing. <laughs> <laughs> we were having fat people can dance. <laughs> about what is a very serious issue and a lot of people are very right. concerned about whether or not there is list being compiled by Paulding County officials you know if you're against you know this or the airport or you know who knows and then also um, well you, in a sense and then you have the whole issue with who, who are these 17 people that were supposedly investigated? Okay, I, th they were people that were just probably, uh, for the most part, unknown to these folks. <laughs> you gotta remember that this county came from 30, or 30, under 30,000 people in 1980 mm -hmm. to 155,000 mm -hmm. people in 2010. Right. Okay, mm -hmm. who are these people? Who, what, what, what's motivating them? Because we always used to know everybody. Yeah, you know I what I mean. And, and, I don't and care. So, uh, you I, know. I don't care. Listen, when you see your name on the list, and I have mm -hmm. seen my name yeah, on what know, was purported to me to be a list of nine residents who it had my name, my address, my uh, coordinates, compass coordinates from the airport, whether or not I lived in the flight path. It also had a map to my home, and it was said to me that David Austin was handing it out to people at meetings in his office. So I found that a little worrisome. Dina, is you. there any reason I should be worried? Have lists ever been a problem in society? Oh, yes. All we have to do is go back and look at history. Let's yes. say 19, so let's, let's look at the 1900s, okay. for example. We have Stalin. Ah, here? the old gulag. I think that was the, the 2000. Yeah, 1900. Yeah, that's the 1900s. Yes, where they century. rounded people up in Russia and put them in concentration camps. The and then gulag. we have Adolf Hitler ah, here. And a little mind camp. Yes, those, yes. Okay, those so weren't summer camps he set up. <laughs> let's continue on. Then we have. Pol Pot ah, here. A little okay. southeastern Asia. Yes, okay. Yeah. And then we have. Kim Jong Il from ah, North Korea. Another He's still crazy compiling guy. compiling lists, investigating yes. people, and you don't want to be on that guy's in list so, in their camps. <laughs> yes, and then let's see, we got a little Milosevic here, ah. and my library of evil dictators is incomplete because Damn. I do not have a book of. Mal, he, you know, follows in the same vein. So if anybody well, has a book that you would like to donate to my library at home, so, you know, of Mal, I'd be glad to take well, it. Well, you know, there, there, there have been lists in the United States of America oh, yes. as well. I mean, oh, yes. uh, I, old worked Nixon. For, I worked, yeah. Uh, in mm -hmm. fact, my boss, uh, when I got out of college, was on his list. Mm -hmm. it was, uh, <laughs> yeah, I know. But, I mean, it wasn't like, I mean, what did we do here we didn't take people off in back alleys and shoot them. No, well, we rounded we, we, them up and put them in World camps. War II, well, in World War II, they rounded up Japanese, Italian, and Germans and took them yeah, to Yeah, well, that was pretty much an they, existential threat. Now, when, when it was Nixon, uh, Nixon's presidency, all they did was uh, investigate them for taxes. Mm -hmm. Okay, <laughs> I mean, but I mean that's what government does. It's uh, and if you're prone it, to it's not what it's supposed to do, is it? Well, it's kind of what you you elect people that don't do that, and that's one of the reasons that he got uh, uh, invited out the door. Sadly, we have yes. people in this county. That I know are we got to stand up. I know, do and people stand have up lists. and they point mm -hmm. uh, point out to them and whatever. But I don't think that they did anything as far as. Uh, uh, burning crosses in your front well, yard. Of course, no. there were lists in those days, too. Yes, uh, but no, what I know. think they did do is a year ago, last January, there was three days in a row where there were helicopters circling the neighborhood three hours in the morning, three hours in the afternoon, and another session in the evening for three hours. 
three days in a row, the windows rattled, the floor vibrated under my feet, the wine glasses and the china cabinet were rattling up against each other, and the map that David provided had the coordinates of my home from the airport location. So I'm thinking maybe that's what they use the map and the list for. And don't for. forget, um, several years before that, when citizens were organized to come to a meeting to protest the helicopter training. Conveniently, there were Paulding County sheriffs sitting out there at the entrance to Halsey Town and Gold Mine, just sitting there with their lights right around the time when people would be leaving their house to go to a board yep. of commissioners meeting. Interesting. Well, I think not. I think not a coincidence, Dana. Well, I think that... bullies being bullies. I think they've been chastised. I don't and think let's enough. Hey, I got an idea. Okay. Let's chastise them some more with a little story about these oh. T-shirts. Ah, uh, that the one old, belongs to you. It's the, a you. The status. Here shirts. you go, folks. Enjoy. Ladies and gentlemen, we now have for you a public service announcement from the Pat and Patty Show. Do you know your status? It's not just for HIV anymore. Citizens must know their investigation and list status. Immediate action is needed on your part. You must immediately contact the Board of Commissioner's Office to inquire as to whether you have been investigated by county officials or perhaps you're on a variety of dissonant lists believed to exist. Number two, citizens shall receive no official response from officials regarding their investigation or list status. Proceed immediately to the government complex to place yourself on a list and request a background investigation be conducted on your person. Be honest, Big David is watching. Remember, the you status, unknown, is not cool. Avoid fines and all acts of revenge. Don't be fooled by the no official response. It's a ploy designed to entrap you. Information required. Opinion of airport commercialization. Financial status, including bankruptcy and tax liens. Number <sighs> of restraining orders. Registration of all burner phones. Availability to meet adversarial PCOM posters in a gas station parking lot on short notice. A sworn affidavit attesting to your whereabouts at the times and dates crimes were supposedly committed against county politicians, board members, and employees. A photo of the front of your refrigerator and the brands of cereal eaten by all members of your household. New resident requirements. Within one week, all new residents must declare, number one, their opinion of airport commercialization and number two, UGA or Georgia Tech. New residents must also meet the remainder of the aforementioned requirements within 30 days. Upgrade your status today to I, which is investigated, or L, which is list only, or join the prefer status, which is investigated and on a list for exclusive benefits. And the benefits are exciting. You can save money. You can cancel your Match.com subscription. When you request your investigation, the county can then match you up with other citizens based on the results of the investigation and your list membership. Just be sure to list your personal preferences such as brand of cereal used, opinion of airport commercialization, number of acceptable restraining orders, and best burner phone number that you can be reached at. Finally, determine your status today. U for unlisted, L for list only, I for investigated only, or investigated and on a list to avoid penalties and acts of revenge. Remember, it's cool to be L or I. Be the coolest citizen in Paulding. Wear your L.I. status with pride. <sighs> So, if you're tired of that blue shirt meeting after meeting after meeting, order your status shirt today. You can select U for unknown list, 
I for investigated only, L for uh, for uh, uh, list only. <laughs> thank you very much. I'm having a senior moment. L for list only, or L I the preferred status that only the coolest have. Also, you can select the size of the shirt you need: small, medium, large, or the roomy extra large. So all you have to do is remit. $15 to Paulding.com to obtain your shirt immediately. And if you'd like to have your shirt autographed by Pat and Patty, it's only $150. Ooh, what a bargain. So get your shirt today so that you can wear your status proud. Well, Dina's flown the coop, uh, but uh, we've got a couple of things that we wanted to talk about before uh, before the show's over. Oh, yes, absolutely. We have information to depart. Information, yeah, <laughs> like important things like where you can go uh, with your little ones. And uh, if you got any little ones, if there's anybody here watching this has got little ones, the village at New Georgia on March 28th. From 11 a.m. until 1 p.m. is going to have a couple of Easter egg hunts. Yeah. And they're going to have face painting and some other fun things like that. On a not nearly as uh, positive uh, uh, aspect, on uh, February 10th, Gosh. apparently no one knew about it, Cody Bryant, who is a 20-year-old uh, Paulding County resident, was murdered in his home on Ivy Gulledge Road in Paulding County. Wow. Uh, so far, detectives have not been able to obtain any credible leads. Uh, since there's been no major leads, the county decided they would finally, I guess, uh, uh, talk about it. Because uh, this is the first release that I've seen on it. Yeah, uh, over a month. Uh, yeah, over a month. Apparently it came out, uh, I think maybe a mama or something like this started complaining to uh, some of the Metro uh, press and said uh, they got no clue whatsoever. And haven't even it hadn't even been on the news. I mean, that's just amazing. Yeah, I, I went back and checked my email to make sure that I hadn't missed the story, and uh, no one even brought it up on the on the on the on the board. Wow. That uh, was brought up on the board on uh, I think uh, March twentieth. Uh, one of the members uh, uh, got some of the press from Atlanta that has come out on it, and and came out and and started talking about it. And of course, we got this uh, today. Uh, so you know. Uh, come on, uh, Sheriff's Office. Uh, if somebody's uh, kind of killed, let us know about it, please. Yeah, I, I think okay. it would be uh, information yeah. the, the neighborhood uh, needs to know, I'm thinking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, and I've got friends right there on Ivy Gulledge Road, too, you know. Uh, anyway, uh, another uh, release from the Sheriff's Office is, uh, oh, it, we got a photograph for it, too. Uh, oh, okay. Which, uh, yeah, uh, and it is a picture of uh, DNR Ranger First Class Chad Cox, who got an award from the uh, Georgia Hunter Education Association banquet. And uh, Deputy uh, Barry Walker of the Pauling County Sheriff's Office was recognized as the 2014 Volunteer of the Year. So congratulations! We, yeah, we do we do positive things as well. One thing I did want to talk about just briefly was uh, why we didn't uh, have a show last week. Oh yes, and uh, that had to do with the fact that uh, there was a grant that asked us to uh, uh, do what basically. Uh, it was a grant to say, what could you do to make elections better before, after, and during elections? There's so much room for improvement in American elections. Yes, and uh, part of uh, my idea was uh, do what we do better and uh, uh, give us some help to do that because we could uh, really use some help in uh, 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 being around. So, you know. Okay, folks, uh, we're back and, uh, you know, we're going to... Uh, Make truncate this show to uh, the fun parts, and we really tried to make it fun. I got them kind of heavy there for a minute, but uh, you know, Dip it's kind of like uh, we started out with a little everything. dancing. We'll probably end it with a little bit of dancing. We'll put, uh, but we got the full version, karaoke version that you can sing along with. Oh, it's fun! You'll love it. <laughs> We're out of here. Enjoy the song. We're gonna load it up special. <laughs> <laughs> My friends wonder why I think you're out to get me on the side Why do I feel there's always someone looking behind? 
I'm just better off not listening to friends and friends. When they insist on knowing my fears, I'll tell them. Cause it means more to me Sometimes I forget what I'm doing I don't 